Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get ourselves warmed up. Um, if you have weights at home, you will have options to use those today, so grab them, keep them nearby. We're gonna get started with a warm up. We're gonna do a step touch right here, so it's a wide tap, and then bring the feet together. I'm gonna push my mat back a little bit. Go ahead and add some arms right here. Good. I'm gonna keep it with the step touch for a few more. We're gonna tweak it a little bit. All right, so we're gonna take a heel up towards the glute, turning it into a ham curl, okay? So feet stay wide now. Good. Keep it going. All right, we're gonna take it back to that step touch. The feet are coming together. And then apart, take the hands to chest and push it out. Good. Making up your own rhythm and pace for this. You're welcome to go slower than me. All right, now ceiling to floor. All right, we're gonna take these feet wide and just tap and tap, press across the body with a nice pivot through the torso, through the hip. Keep it going. All right, press forward. So we're still alternating palms. All right, we're gonna bring our feet hip width apart. We're gonna sit back into a squat, nice and slow. Down for two counts, up for two counts. Down for two, up for two. Pushing the hips back, sitting in that imaginary chair. All right, we're gonna take it one count, okay? So down and up, down and up. Make sure you're squeezing the glutes at the top. Maybe three, two, and one. Very good. Find a spot where you can do a walkout plank or an inchworm, okay? So I've got my mat here. I'm gonna bend over, walk my hands out to that plank. And then walk my hands back in and stand up, okay? And we repeat. Walk it out. Walk it in. Keep it going. Let's do two more. Do one more. Once you've done those, stand it up. We're going to either do jumping jacks or split jacks, okay? You're going out, arms are going up, and then back to the side. Bring that heart rate, climbing up. A little more. Three, two, one, march it or jog it. Take these arms and circle. And the other way. And then out and across. Out and across. Okay. All right. So for today, if you do have weights at home, you can have the option of adding those to several of the moves today. Um, do what you can. We're going to be doing little blocks where we have three exercises. We do each exercise for 30 seconds, 15 seconds of rest slash transition in between, and then a minute of rest, and then we repeat that same block one more time. Okay? So quick intervals. Um, that means you can really go at it, you know, for speed or 
heaviness of your weights. So let me go through our first three exercises for this first little block. Um, we're going to be starting with a burpee, and I'm going to be doing mine with my weights. Um, if you're worried about your floor, you can always take the weights to the floor on a mat. Okay. So, quick run through of our burpee. We're bending over, weights come towards the floor, jump or step those feet back out. If you want, you can add a little push up. That is optional. Jump or step the feet in, and then I'm going to bring these up to an overhead press. Okay? Coming up to the center and raising them up above the head. And then repeat. 30 seconds. You're only going to get a few reps in, um, especially if you are slowing it down and walking it out. You can also elevate this on like a sofa um, or a table, maybe put some a mat on it to protect it if you're using a table. That's another way to modify it and make this a little easier. You can also take the weights out. That would also make it easier. The next two exercises are going to be the same thing, just one is going to be the left side of the body and the other is going to be the right. So you're going to need one dumbbell. We're going to step it out to a side lunge. The weight drops towards that foot and we roll across the body as we step back in. And we come back out again and roll across. The other one will be across the other side. All right? So that'll be 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of transition time slash rest. And we'll go through those three exercises, take a little break, go through those three exercises again. All right. So if you're using weights for those burpees, grab your weights. We're going to go in three, two, and one. Here we go. All right. So down and out. Optional push up. Bring it back in. Overhead press. You can break this down. Walk it out. Elevate it. Whatever you need to do. Make it work for you. We are over halfway. We have less than 10 seconds. We have about five. Listen for that beep. There it is. All right, one weight. Side lunge, roll across the body. Got a tiny bit of rest time, five seconds, and then we go again. Three, two, one. So side lunge, row across. Side lunge, row across. Keep it going. Less than 10 seconds. Listen for that beep. And there it is. Switch that way to the other hand. Shake it out. Try and take a few deep breaths. And then we do stag number two. All right? Going in three, two, one. Here we go. Lunge, drop towards the heel, and pull. As we do the side lunge, think about when we do a squat and we're sending those hips back, okay? We want to still be doing that here. Less than 10 seconds. All right, longer rest here. You can grab a sip of water. You can think about how those exercises went. You can adjust as needed if you need to make it easier or harder. Hopefully you've got the movement down and for the second time through you can really send it. So get that set, move those feet. We're going to get going here in about 20 seconds, okay? Nice deep breaths. So the first one is going to be that burpee with the weights, okay? I'm going to go ahead and walk over towards my weights. So I'm ready to go. We've got about 10 seconds before we go. Five seconds. Two and one. Here we go. Down and out. 
Optional push up. Overhead press. Just 30 seconds. Fly by. About 10 seconds to go. Listen to the beat. There it is. All right. Side lunge. Row across the body. Choose which side you're doing first. Grab just one weight. We're going in three, two, one. Lunge and row. Way. Keep that chest raised. Hinge at the hips. Then a strong back as you take that weight towards the floor. Five seconds. Rest. Switch the weight to the other hand. Get ready to do side number two. Got this. We're going in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Across. Nice strong arms. You give all the other good forms. Form cues. Hips going back. Ten seconds. Almost there. Rest. All right, grab a sip of water. Got some new exercises coming up. For this next little block, we're gonna start with a star jump. So star jump, we've done this before, but quick. Um, words are hard on Friday morning. We're just gonna quickly go through it so that you know what you're doing. So we're gonna squat down and then you jump, make an X or a star with the body and then come back, okay? So it's a jump, return, jump, return. For those of you that that is a little too high impact, you're gonna do a squat, leg lift, raise those arms, squat, leg lift, raise those arms, okay? For 30 seconds. The next one is another one. We're gonna do two sides of the body. We do one for 30 seconds, tiny rest, other for 30 seconds. We are going to be doing, it's a lunge, overhead press combo. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna take this arm out for balance. You can also place it on your hip, whatever feels better. We lunge, press, lunge, press. For the final one, it's just the other side. Lunge and press, okay? 30 seconds. All right, no weights for the start now. So it's star jump, lunge with overhead press, other side lunge with overhead press, all right? All right, get ready to star jump for me, guys. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go, so just crouch down and out. Crouch, jump and out. Or you can do that leg lift, okay? Do what works for your body. To get at your own pace, what you need to to make it through. We are over halfway. We have 10 seconds. Rest. Grab one weight for the lunge and the overhead press. I'm going to split my feet so I'm ready to go. Three, two, one. So lunge, press at the top. Lunge, press at the top. This arm can come up for balance, or come by the side, or on the hip. Halfway. Keep it going. Almost there. Rest. Switch to the other side. 
Put those feet so you're ready to go. We're going in three, two, one. So lunge, then press. Lunge, then press. Keep it going and make sure you're breathing. We have less than 10 seconds, about five. Hang in there. All right, longer rest. Grab a sip of water. Stretch out anything, shake out anything that needs to be shaken out, stretched out. Move the body. Don't take a mini nap. Not yet. All right, so we do that again. Starting with the star jump, lunge on the overhead press, other side lunge and overhead press, okay? All righty. We're going in about 10 seconds. Get ready for that star jump. Four, three, two, one. So crouch, jump, and extend. Keep it going. Over halfway. Listen for that beep. Keep it going. Rest. Grab one weight for the lunge with the overhead press. Decide what side you're going to do first. Flip those feet. Here we go. Lunge. Press. Lunge. Press. We going. Watch the balance. Ten seconds to go. Listen for the beep. There it is. Switch sides. Catch your breath. Switch the beat. Got this. Here we go. Lunge and press. Lunge and press. Find a rhythm. Do what you can do. If you need to come all the way to the top and then do that overhead press, almost make it two moves. You can. 10 seconds. And rest. All right. Then we move on to a new block. We grab a sip of water first. So in this next little video, we're going to do two switch lunges, touch the floor. So. We're not technically lunging on the switch lunge. Just think of more of like a scissor. So we go one, two, lunge and touch. Come up one, two, lunge and touch. So let me break it down. If you're not jump, a jumper, you can, if you still can do the scissor, keep the two scissors, bring the feet together, reverse lunge. You don't have necessarily have to touch the floor. Scissor, scissor, reverse lunge. If the scissor is still too much, you can go forward, forward, back, back, reverse lunge, forward, forward, back, back, reverse lunge, okay? All right, do what you can on that one. Then we're gonna be grabbing our weights for alternating curtsy lunges with a bicep curl. So it looks like this. With a curtsy, we cross behind, curl, cross behind, curl. That's exercise two. 
Exercise three. We are going to be doing a squat that goes into an overhead tricep extension, okay? So let me show you how that'll work. I'll show you with two weights and I'll also show you with one weight. So two weights, I'm gonna hold them here at my chest, bring my feet out, squat, go into an overhead press, and then an overhead tricep extension back here, squat, back up. Okay, this can also be done with one weight. Same thing, I'm gonna hold it here though. Squat, up, bend, and straighten, okay? All right, so those are the three exercises. Two switch lunges, touch the ground, alternating curtsy with bicep curls, and then squat to overhead tricep, okay? All right, so no weights needed for that first one. These babies can go to the side. It was less than 10 seconds, and then we'll get going again. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. So switch, lunge, switch, switch, lunge, touch the floor. Switch, switch, lunge, touch the floor. Or remember, you bring it back to center, and then step that lunge back. You can't go all the way to the floor. Just lunge for me. Less than 10 seconds. Almost there, we're there. All right, curtsy, bicep curls. Grab those weights. Get ready to curtsy and curl. Three, two, one. So cross, curl, cross behind, and curl. Chest are raised. Arms are strong, legs are strong. Breathe through me. Almost there. Rest. All right, squat overhead to tricep extension. One or two weights. Get this feet hip width apart. Bring the weight or weights up to chest height. Here we go. Squat, overhead, bend, and straighten. Bring it back. Squat, overhead, bend, and straighten. Repeat. Keep it going. Ten seconds. And rest. All right. Long rest. Grab some water. Shake it out. Try to take some deep breaths to bring that heart rate down a little bit. Bodies are working hard. So we go through that again. So switch, switch, lunge, touch the ground, curtsy with bicep curls, and squat with the overhead tricep extension. Okay. We've got 15 seconds before we go again. Keep walking around, keep moving that body, keep taking those deep breaths. Get ready for that switch, switch, lunge, touch the ground, going in four, three, two, here we go. So switch, switch, touch, switch, switch, touch. Keep that chest raised, even as you're reaching for the floor. I'm not even looking at the floor. Push yourself, 10 seconds. Almost there. All right. Curtsy and curl. Grab those right. Heart rate is high. All right. In three, two, one. Curtsy curl. Another side. Curtsy curl.
breathe from you guys. Five seconds, home stretch, rest. Squat to the overhead tricep. You can take one or two weights with you. I bring my weights right here. We're going in three, two, here we go. Squat, overhead, bend, and straighten. Just realize that I have higher ceilings than some of you do. Some of you maybe are cursing me out. If you can't do the overhead tricep from standing, now that we're almost done, you can always do a kickback instead. All right, rest. Being short, sometimes I forget that not everybody is. All right, so we're moving on to a new block. All right, grab a drink of water though. And I'm also spoiled with these high ceilings. All right, so this next set, we're going to do some, a jog with a pattern here. So we're gonna go singles for four, so one, two, three, four, Double, double, one, two, three, four, double, double. So the double, you just kind of hop on one foot twice, then to the other side, hop, okay? You could also slow that down. One, two, three, four, hop, hop, okay? You don't want to jog or run it. Then we will do some renegade rows. Um, you can do that with weights or you can do it body weight. So if you're doing it weights, um, we're gonna come down to a plank and this can also be done from a modified plank, so a plank on the knees. You can also elevate it and bring the hands up. Uh, that's another way to modify it, okay? So either here, nice, strong, straight body, or here, okay? We row one side and then the other. I really want us to focus on activating our core so we have minimal movement side to side. Some of us especially, like, we'll get really heavy weights and we're like, ah, ah, when we roll side to side. Great sound effects, I know. Um, but I want you to try and keep it centered, okay? So you're here and the body hardly moves as you row, okay? Focusing a tiny bit less on arm strength and a tiny bit more on core strength and stability, okay? And then the third, Final exercise in this little block is going to be a sit up with a weight. So I'm going to come, I'm going to grab the weight, I'm going to lay down, and then I'm going to sit up using the abs. Abs are taking me up and go down. Let me turn to the side real quick. So we're down at the bottom. We sit up, try to keep as strong of a back as possible. It's engaged. Roll down kind of one vertebrae at a time. Sit up, okay? If sit-ups are slightly hard for you, you can always put something heavy on the feet or tuck the feet under the sofa um, to give it a little bit, to ground you a little bit. And if sit-ups in general are too hard, take it to a crunch instead. You can take the hands behind the head and crunch right here, okay? All right, so choose what works for you. Jog, four singles, two doubles, renegade rows, sit-ups, all right? You've got this. All right. Going with the jog, four singles, two doubles, in three, two, one. Here we go. So one, two, three, four, double, double. One, two, three, four, double, double. Add those arms. One, two, three, four, double, double. One, two, three, four, double, and double. Find your own pattern. Maybe you're going slower than me. Maybe you're taking it faster. You're really sprinting. Keep it going. Rest. Okay, ready to get rows or next. Come to the floor. I'm grabbing both of my weights. Coming to a plank, either modified or full. And try and minimize that motion. 
Side to side. Here we go. Three row. And we row. Really dig those toes into the ground. Use the glutes. Activate the abs. 10 seconds. All right, rest. Sit up. Harness. Grab your weight. Lay down. We're going in five seconds. Three, two, and one. Have to give me sit up or crunch. Whatever you're doing, make it nice and controlled. Your abs are your primary mover. Don't let other muscle groups take over. Don't let momentum. Take over. 10 seconds. And rest. All right. So we'll take a little rest. We'll do that again. Then we'll take a little rest and then we're going to do our grand finale where we are going to do all of the blocks in a row. <laughs> Okay, I know I got you nice and good and tired and then I'm like, let's work real hard. You can do it, you can, you can cross that finish line. But for now, focus on doing these three exercises one more time. Grab a sip of water. Whew. Pull yourself up to a standing position and walk it around a little bit. Psych yourself up for the second time through these ones, starting with the four singles, two double jogs, okay? All right, so we're gonna get going in about 10 seconds. Four singles, two doubles on that jog. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, one, two, three, four, double, double, add the arms. Double and double. Move those feet as fast as you can. Keep it going. Less than 10 seconds. All right, Renegade Rose are next. Coming down to the floor, I'm grabbing two weights. You also do this body weight and just do the movement with no weights. Three, two, one. Here we go. Row and row. Squeeze the glutes. Activate the abs. Minimal motion. Side to side. Halfway. those toes into the floor. Listen for the beep. All right, there it is. Sit-ups are next. Grab that weight. Come to the floor. We're going in three, two, and one. Sit up. Roll down. Sit up and roll down. Abs take you up. And then they also take you down. They're controlling that slow motion down. Halfway. Rest. All right. Enjoy this rest. Really. And bring the breathing down and pump yourself up for what's coming. So I mentioned, and we're going to do it now, that we're now going to do all four of those blocks. There are four. It's okay if you weren't counting. All four of those blocks in a row, okay? Still the same protocol. Still 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest slash transition. Okay. Let's 
going to be brutal, but it's going to be wonderful. Afterwards, you're going to feel so great and so glad to be done. That's a promise. <laughs> All right. So let's stand it up. Get those feet moving. Still taking those deep breaths, okay? Still resting here a little bit. So I will cue you about what is the next exercise so that you can have that in mind because I don't expect you to remember all of the exercises. I mean, I have a board with them right here. So obviously I don't even expect myself to remember all of them. It's hard to think and remember sometimes when you're exercising intensely. But just so you have an idea in your mind, I'm going to quickly go through the list and then we'll get started. So it's burpee with weights, um, side lunge with a row across the body, other side, star jump, one side lunge with one side overhead press, other side, two switch lunges, touch the ground, curtsy with bicep curls, squat to overhead tricep, jog, four singles, two doubles, renegade rows, and sit-ups, and then you're done, okay? Each one is 30 seconds. 30 seconds will fly by, I promise. Promise. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Do all those blocks in a row. So starting with the burpee, you can use weights or you can opt not to. You can modify it any way you see fit. We'll get started in about 10 seconds. I'm going to grab my weights. Really pace yourself since this is a longer slog. All right, here we go. Down and out, optional push-up. Bring it in, overhead. Keep it going, make sure you're breathing. You're over halfway through this one. The side lunge with the row is up next. Listen for the beat, there it is. All right, one weight. Side lunge, roll across the body. We're going in five, four, three, two, and one. So side lunge and row. Good. Keep it going. Halfway. The next one will just be the other side. Don't have to think about that too much. Almost there. Listen for the beep. All right, switch the weight to the other hand. Get ready to do side two. Nice deep breath here at the top. This will be probably your longest rest. All right, side two. Here we go. Lunge and row. Remember, you're pacing this. You can go slower. You can take it not as deep. Push yourself. 10 seconds. Think about good form, especially as you're getting tired. All right, rest. Star jumps are next. No weights needed. So you can either do that star jump or the squat leg lift. Going in five, three, two, one. Here we go. So crouch and out, crouch and out. Keep it going. You've got this. Whatever option you're doing, halfway through. Less than 10 seconds. The next one is a lunge with an overhead press. All right, one side, grab one weight. Split those feet and get ready. Three, two, one. Here we go, so lunge and press, lunge and press. We do this side for 30 seconds. Next exercise is the other side. 
We're going halfway. Watch your balance. Woo. I just got off my. There we go. It's back. Make sure you're breathing. All right. Switch. Switch those feet. Switch to the arm. Take some deep breaths. All right. We're going in three, two, one. And press. Lunge and press. We'll set the weights down after this one. We've got two switch lunges, touch the ground. Halfway through this one. My arm's getting tired. Four seconds, finish it strong. All right, weight down, be so careful. Switch, switch. Lunge, touch the floor, okay? That's what's next. Three, two, one. Switch, switch, touch. Switch, switch, touch. Remember, you can slow this down. You can bring the feet together and then do a reverse lunge. Instead of jumping it. Halfway through. More intense when you stack them, huh? Whew. All right, curl and curtsy, curtsy and curl. After this one, we have the squat to overhead tricep. You can also do a kickback if you're tall and have low ceilings. Five seconds. All right. You can drop to one weight or you can use two. And keep both in mind. Keep my feet hip width apart. I'm gonna take a deep breath. Bring my weights up to my chest. All right, here we go. Squat. Tricep. We're going about five seconds. Rest. All right, weights go to the side. Jog four singles, two doubles. Just a few more exercises. We are almost there. All right, four, three, two, one. Four singles. One, two, three, four. Double, double. Four singles. One, two, three, four. Double, double. Find your groove. Keep it going. You can speed that up. You can keep it nice and steady. Renegade rows are after this. And then we finish with sit ups. All right, renegade rows. Come into the floor. Plank on the knees, plank on the toes. Trying to minimize the movement of the body side to side. Set it up. Here we go. New rope. A new rope. Try to get those shoulders over the wrists. Squeeze the glutes. Tighten the abs. 10 seconds. We finish with sit-ups after this. And down. All right, that last one, sit-up or crunch. I'm gonna take my weight with me. All right, I'm gonna lay down on the floor. I'm gonna enjoy a glorious five seconds before we get going again. 
All right, ready? Here we go. Sit up. Roll down. Make it a nice controlled movement. The abs are in control. Good. Halfway. Almost there. And you're done, guys. All right. Grab a sip of water and then peel yourself up off the floor and join me. We're going to stand it up. Bring the heart rate down a tiny bit. Before we sit back down. All right. You did it. You made it through that last monster stack set. All right, so stand up. Just give me a slow, very slow step touch, side to side, okay? I'm just gently swinging my arms here. We're gonna do a slow ham curl, okay? Nice and slow, bringing the glute, not the glute, glute stays up. Bring the heel towards the glute. Good. Taking deep breaths. All right, we are gonna do a quad stretch, okay? So if you need to grab a wall or a chair or something, grab it. I'm gonna pull, pull that heel up towards the glute. We're gonna stand here. If it helps your balance, you're welcome to take this arm overhead, okay? Whatever works. We wanna try and have that knee under that hip. Hold. Enjoy the stretch. Good. We're going to release and do that other side. So find your balance. Grab onto something if you need to. Take this arm up overhead, wherever you can get that balance, and hold. You're still taking nice deep breaths, slowing that heart rate down. And release. All right, let's turn it to the side. Big step back, press that back heel to the floor, getting a calf stretch. Yeah. And then we're gonna just push ever so slightly forward. While we're here, bring an arm across the body and add a little wrist circle, giving that wrist a little bit of love. Circle the other way. All right, keep the legs where they're at, but release that arm. Elbow comes up towards the ceiling. Grab that elbow and gently pull. Getting a nice stretch through the shoulder and tricep. All right, release. Let's pivot over to that other side. Pivot around, big step back. Press the heel towards the floor, stretching the calf. Find the balance. And press ever so slightly forward into this front knee and bring the arm across the body. Circle the wrist. Circle the other way. All right, keep the legs where they're at, but release that arm. Elbow comes up towards the ceiling. Grab that elbow and gently pull. And release. All right, come center. So we're gonna do, we usually do this move during our warm up. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see, but the feet are gonna be nice and wide, okay? We're gonna bring the arms up overhead. We hinge at the hips, bringing the hands towards the floor. And then you're going to bend the knees at the bottom and press up through the center, okay? All right, so hinge forward, bend the knees, press up. Toes are kind of turned up, hinge forward, bend and press up through, hinge forward, bend and press up through. Do one more, hinge forward, bend and press up through, good. With these toes still turned out, I'm going to Bend one knee, lean into it, 
I'm gonna bring my forearm to that leg and bring this arm overhead, stretching it. Lengthening through the side. All right, now take this top arm, reach up towards the ceiling, straighten this leg out. Hand can come anywhere from thigh all the way to ankle. We're gonna look up here. Our hip is kind of jutting out. And breathe, guys. Stand up and do that other side, okay? So we're gonna bend this knee, take this forearm to the thigh, reach overhead, lengthen. So we're stretching from the foot all the way through the fingertips, getting a nice reach through the entire side of the body. Reach, reach, reach. Now take this top arm and reach it up. Straighten this front leg, take the hand anywhere from the thigh, all the way down to ankle. Look up at those fingers. Good. A couple deep breaths. And let's stand it up. All right, we're going to come to the floor. All right? We're going to lay down on our back. So get down however you need to. Take yourself down to your back. Take your time. We're going to take one leg straight. We're going to bend this other one, pulling it towards the armpit. Hold for a few breaths. And then we'll take that opposite hand, grab that knee, and gently pull it across the body. In a little bit of a spinal twist, stretching out the glute. You're going to feel that. And some of you may even feel something through like the chest and shoulder area. Hold here for a few breaths. Good. All right, bring this leg back to center. Let's do the other one. Bend that knee, hug it up towards the armpit. Hold it here for a few breaths. Now take that opposite hand, grab that knee, and gently pull it across the body. Start to lay out to the side. I feel it more through my shoulder on one side than the other. Maybe the same for you. Maybe that you feel it more strongly through one glute than the other two. All right, bring this knee back to center. Let's bring that other knee up too. We're going to take my knees nice and wide and give a little rocking motion side to side. Rocking motion is optional. It just kind of helps move the legs a little bit through the hip joint, um, stretching out different angles. Okay. All right, let's do figure four real quick. Cross an ankle over the opposite thigh, thread those hands through, grab the bottom leg and gently pull. I am feeling that stretch today. All right, then let's release and do the other side. Cross the ankle, grab the bottom leg and gently pull. As you do a lot of these stretches, Every once in a while, check your body. Are you holding on to tension other places? Are your shoulders scrunched up by your ears? If they are, release them. That'll make the entire stretch a little better. All right, release. Bring those feet to the ground. Grab the backs of your legs and gently pull yourself up. Let's do two breaths together here to end and kind of center ourselves. All right, find a comfortable place to sit. Let's inhale our arms up. Exhale our arms down. One more time, inhale up, and exhale down. Perfect. Thank you for joining me here today, as always. I hope you guys enjoy the wonderful warm weather 